Hi, this is Thomas again, and uh, this is the second part of the tutorials, and it is a quick start guide, uh, and I will show you how to make a simple loop really fast on the NerdSec. So for that, I uh, made a simple patch with the synthesizer voice connected to track one. So we have the CV output on track one uh, is connected to the VCO here, the VCO for the notes. The trigger output is connected to the envelope with the VCA and the modulation output is connected to the filter cutoff so we can also have some modulation. So then the second track that's coming now uh, is just connected with the trigger output to the famous uh, fat clap from Falafula. We have uh, in general two tracks that we will use uh, for the quick start. So starting uh, with a nice splash animation and we're ending up in the sequencer screen. So that's the screen where you actually arrange uh, the order of the patterns and create uh, uh, loops or the whole uh, song structure. So on the pattern on the sequencer screen you see uh, the eight different tracks in one overview and uh, you navigate simply with the cursor buttons so navigating down, right, up and to the left and if you want to change a value somehow you hold the shift button and you press uh, then uh, left and right to change uh, small values and shift and up and down to change uh, bigger values or bigger steps. Um, the buttons on the left, uh, there you can start and stop a sequence, um, the shift button uh, you saw already and uh, with the OK button you can create new things like a new pattern, a new patch and uh, for some other stuff. So. Uh, and the buttons on the top is, are actually to change to different screens. So we are now in a sequencer screen and we will change in a minute to the pattern screen uh, where we will uh, edit the notes actually. So for that on track one, we are track one now, we uh, uh, create a new pattern by pressing the OK button. So that's OK. We create a new pattern and now pattern zero is created we go into the pattern by pressing the pattern button Hop. and that's actually where you fill in the music notes uh, a pattern can have up to 64 steps and again you just simply navigate between the columns and rows and you can go down scroll down to get to all of the 64 steps um, in that case uh, uh, we starts to enter a music note and we, by that we hold the shift button and uh, go to the right and it will enter the note C in octave 4. Now I will change it uh, a bit uh, down uh, to 3 so one octave lower. Um, so a, a pattern can have up to 64 steps but I will make it for now to show only a 16 step pattern. For that I will go to the effect column and enter a break command. Uh, I will explain it in later videos, so uh, just take it as 16 steps for now. Uh, I press the start button and it starts the sequence. So for now it's a simple uh, loop, you see on the left side you see uh, the different steps uh, running. Um, it's not C3 and the gate is only uh, set at the moment um, or the gate is turned on and to turn off the gate I, uh, I use the note off command and it's uh, in the notes and you see the gate is only one step uh, length of course you can change the gate to uh, uh, even shorter than a step or whatever uh, length you want to have for now I choose only the standard uh, step length. Uh, um, I will add some more uh, um, uh, notes uh, to have like a simple bass line. Uh, and I'll go on again. 
just go into the step, change the octave, With a simple bass line, and then I will also add the note off again and some steps to have like uh, just short gates. Okay, those are the notes, and I will go to another column, and this is to change the modulation output. It's that column, and there I can change the modulation values. The modulation output is now connected to. Uh, uh, the filter cutoff and it's uh, the, the main uh, uh, setting is uh, zero and I will just open the filter cutoff a bit with different steps so you see the higher the value the more uh, open is the filter uh, the more the filter is opened um, okay, that's that's actually like uh, the basic sequence and the modulation output and I will uh, go back to the sequencer screen and uh, We'll add the second track because there is the clap uh, connected Again, I press ok to create a new pattern and I go into the pattern by pressing the pattern button and I make it again a 16 step loop We'll do it in the FX column and I will start it already and it will start uh, in uh, synchronized uh, with the other pattern so uh, for that I go to the trigger column and add the value to zero which is a short trigger so it's on step one now Simple 16 step uh, uh, loop again for the triggers and they're playing together. Um, going back to the sequencer screen, I can also like uh, uh, really simple uh, start and stop patterns by using pressing the stop button and start it again. Synchronize. So same for the, uh, uh, for the clap and start it again. That's actually like the basic stuff and I will just go on for one more minute to uh, just change some stuff without uh, explanation. Uh, we will get uh, to that with the uh, future tutorials. Okay, I'm, I'm again with, with the claps and I will change the claps a bit. Baseline and uh, make it a 64 step actually now. Just uh, copy and paste some values for that. playing the 64 steps in the first track. The bass note of uh, uh, of the of the pattern.
Okay, now that's all for now and uh, I will get into detail uh, with the next uh, tutorials. Thanks for watching and uh, bye.